Hello and welcome. This is STR8. Today I want to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. We're going to keep trying our busted run here. We're going to try to avoid boss totem battles. And I think they will do tip skills. And let's see, that gets us pretty close. Um, hmm. One life is tempting, but I don't know. We could do more difficult, but. I could take that off instead, and that would remove tip scales and not having boss tone battles. This may work. We'll give it a shot. Okay, picking out our first cards. Let's see. I think we should try out a wolf cub and an ant queen. Maybe we, we could try something a little bit different here and put um, the ant queen's abilities on the wolf cub or something. That might be a little bit unusual, but the ants would theoretically grow up to be um, queens herself, so that would be worth the cost process, I think. Oh, good. We've uh, already burnt through, so that's nice. Oh, and there's a Prospector event coming up too. Good. Alright, I want to get our Wolf Cub on the board right away. Good, let's see. All right, we can get us a worker ant down. Ooh, wow. That was pretty fast. Nice. Okay, let's head up this way. I should have held onto my squirrel card, I think. Would have been nice to get a pack rat, but I think I just got a little excited. Well, hmm. That one is not a good set. May end up. I mean, to uh, sacrifice it, because unfortunately, that's just not going to come into use being waterborne. Alright, let's boost up our Mantis God. Okay, that's a pretty good amount of damage. Alright, let's see. Um, hmm. Yep, that waterborne is just not going to do us any favors. So, I guess let's just save up a turn and we'll get our Ant Queen on the board next hand. Okay, here we go. And we will put our Worker Ant down to take out the Adder next. We don't want it lingering out around on us. There we go. We also use the bullfrog against the other bullfrog. So that was good. Oh, Mantis God time, nice. We'll have just enough time to get it deployed. Looking like an ant run. Oh, here comes our super buffed Mantis God. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous now. Just seeing it's health up will be pretty solid, I think. Okay, an attack bee coming in. Man, I can't wait to burn that beehive.
I wonder if I could put Mighty Leap on it, if uh, that with Airborne would block things. It's interesting to contemplate. Oh, more bees. It's not good. Hopefully we'll get our um, Mantis God soon. I think we're going to have to pull a tooth. Still can't really do much of anything here yet. Alright, let's see. Yay, got our Mantis God. Perfect. Wow, it's insane. The Mantis God doing 15 damage. We're going to be overflowing with those teeth. Nice thing that we don't have pricey pelts on, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Flying Ant, it's your turn. Alright, Mantis God is going to get ripped. Five and five. Wow. It's insane. Come on, good sigils. We need you. Alright, Insect Head. Good. We haven't even made it to the first boss yet. We just now got there, and we already have a five and five Mantis God. It's insane. If I can get it on the board, I think I'm just about guaranteed to win. It's literally it just has to damage one lane, so it's wild. Okay, um, let's see, I guess I could pull over the beehive, and uh, I won't be able to hit it, but it'll at least sit there flopping around while the, he pulls it over with the hook and block our kingfisher situation, so that's nice. Okay, unfortunately, it's going to pull something over, so, hmm. Could send the ringworm packing, um, but on as well DR squirrel, I guess. In kind of an awkward pattern where we're just staying uh, kind of stable here. I think he's going to pull again before I can get a chance to get our uh, Mantis God card. So here we go. Um, fortunately, I'm just going to have to play like this. And uh, we'll play it in the next turn. Okay, now we can put it down. Cool. Fortunately, we're going to get two bait buckets on the board. Um, that's okay. We can put a ant queen down over here on the side. And that will avoid one of them. Okay. Cool. If I could get a dying on the um, Mantis God, that would be perfect because I could lose it over and over and never have to worry about it. Ooh, a mystery card. Hmm. Let's do it. Maybe it'll be something awesome. Okay. Well, a duplication event sounds mighty fine to get us another Mantis God. So I think we're going to take that route. It seems like a easy choice there. Okay. Come on, Mantis God. This will be good because I potentially could get two different sigils and uh, combine them up. I mean, don't have a whole lot of turns left to do that, but if that worked out just right, it would be amazing. Oh, a bat. Okay. Here's our duplicate. It's a little bit weaker, but it's not going to matter. We're going to get 10 excess damage anyways. Jeez. 
basically it'll take all the golden pelts if I get to a trapper event. Actually, I see one coming up on the left, so I might take it. Well, I don't really know what I want to sacrifice. It's going to be a hard pick. Um, now, I could take the millworm and put it on this mantis god. And if I got to consume it with the other one, it would be a 10 and 8. That would be wild. Um, and it could go either way, too. Um, let's see... Now, I did talk about having an ant queen, like the spawning, um, like fledgling, and the ant spawning on the wolf cub. I think that could be a really cool move, too. So, I take less blood to get going as well. Um, so, I think I want to do that because it kind of lowers the chances of uh, something going wrong, I believe. And unfortunately, it won't count towards my ant count as much as I'd like, but since I'll be down one ant queen, but it'll be okay, I think. Okay. We've got a wild bull coming at us. Um, it does have burrower, so let's see. I think that I should put down the worker ant to kind of be a blocking force and with its bones, we'll be able to play the millworm next. And that wild bull should move under the porcupine. There we go. Okay, let's draw from here. Hey, we got our mantis god. And we're going to upgrade it right away. So, five and five. We're going to eliminate these rows and uh, actually get our um, revenge right away. I look at things. Ah, uh, the useless beehive. Such a bad card. So bad, in fact, that I probably should take the time to sacrifice it um, here soon. Let's see. I don't want to hit the sigil swap. I'm pretty sure that could be a mistake. Um, hmm. I'd love to trade in that bundle of teeth I have, though. There is a cave event. Um, I'm trying to see what would make sense. I put Morsel on the Mantis God. Be nice, but then I won't have much of a reason to ever use Bone. So it's really weak going up that route. There is a cave event. I think I'll go to Sacrifice route because I want to get rid of that Beehive. That Beehive is just, I think, toxic waste right, right now. So let's do it. really stinks that the uh, round worm actually looks slightly more beneficial in this case. So that dang waterborne that's going on. Plus with it being a one blood, that's just not, not good. Oh, okay. We got our wolf cub randomly ripped in here. Um, so we could get this one down and spawn, but I think I'd rather just get the Mantis God and win right away. Plus we'll get 10 excess teeth. So, gotta make that trip to the Trapper. The item reload sounds good. Um, I do have two flying ants, but that would only double the health. And... Getting items may be a wiser move. I think I'll do that instead. I don't see a point in copying our um, what you do, geese. The uh, or merging our mantis gods. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. Ooh, possum. Good. Now I'll have a chance at getting a uh, oh a pack rat. Ooh, well, that's interesting. Loose tail or scavenger. Hmm. Well, that would be a cool way to generate bones since I have so much attack power. Maybe I'll go with this instead. It'll clog up the board a little bit, but 
maybe until we get a better sigil, that'll be fine. Okay. And this is a battle that I'm not against cutting cards if I have to. So it just always kind of stinks. But we should be able to get a second phase right away. Um, but it looks like we're not getting the card we need. Um, now I could cut out the strange frog and put a wolf cub there and I'd be feeling pretty good. Or, hmm, this is such a bad setup because of that random card. I think it's kind of throwing things off. So we'll get one and it won't have a chance to grow up, I'm pretty sure. So I think I am going to do scissors and we'll do it here. Um, and we'll play the wolf cub so it has a chance to grow up. Okay. We may be able to put down the worker ant in front of the strange frog, and I'm not positive if it'll use the tail um, to get away from the trap, but we're going to try it out and see. There we go. In the meantime, we can be searching for our uh, other stuff. Oh yeah, now it's definitely going to die. Well, actually, the wriggling... Yeah, we won't get another leg, so... My bad. Oh, we're drawing those moose bucks. Here comes a big, mean adder to uh, ruin our day. Let's put down the frozen possum. Um, actually, we'll just do it right here. Okay. Here comes our adder. And another worker ant. Okay. Okay, there's one of our pelts. Good. And let's see. I guess we'll just start drawing squirrels because we're going to go to the next phase. I don't think that this is an ideal situation, but I should be able to get Mantis God right off the bat, I think. I can use the frozen possum to block that lane for a little while, at least. Okay, do we have any Lamer Geyers? No. We do have a Radware with Bifurcate Strike, though. That is not good. Um, I think that we'll take up the Radler. Let's see, we only have two pelts. So, let's do Radler and... Um, Kingfisher is going to stay there, so hmm. we wouldn't really be able to get rid of it, but it's going to move over, and the possum's going to move over instead. So maybe getting rid of the skink would make more sense, but I don't like his pronghorn with double strike either, so maybe we'll take it. Okay, and let's draw from here because we should be getting a mantis god, or not. Um, a Rattler can be played, and it has the um, bifurcated strike, which is pretty sweet. Um, our pronghorn could be played as well, and we could beef it up some. It has the double strike, um, which would be a pretty big help. We could get rid of the skink with that. We also almost have enough that we could play our moose buck. Or our Bloodhound. Maybe we'll just play our Bloodhound. Um, hmm. Hard choice. Pronghorn might be our best because it also has the sideways attack too. So let's just do that. I think that that's making a lot of sense. There we go. There we go. I'm feeling good about that now. And this strike going two ways. I don't see any way that this should fail. Um, Possum won't be able to hit it the first turn anyways. Here we go. Okay. Good. And let's see. There's our Mantis God. I knew it had to be coming. Um, so let's take this out and we'll put it here and that should wipe out those three lanes. Here we go. Excess damage to boot. <laughs> may need to get rid of one of these moose bucks because drawing two of those was bad. Um, either 
burning it. Well, here's another one. Um, huh. I guess let's go with the sparrow. I'm afraid to get another three blood, not having a goat. Um, so hopefully I can combine them and have a lowered chance. Or I could burn my worm right here. So I think I'll do that. I'll burn the worm. Oh, let's do power, because if we get one of the Mantis Gods, we're good. Yep. Okay, good. We doubled it. Okay, an Adder that's eternal and also has Bloodlust. Oh, that's cool. Lamergar with Bees Within and it's Sprinter. And a Kingfisher that leaves behind a tail and has Fledgling. Um, well, that's interesting. Um, the Adder sounds like the best choice. Lammergeier sounds pretty good though too though. Hmm. That's hard. Cause having bees within and four HP generate some bees would be cool. Well, I do have the the miner, the prospector left to do, so I think I'll go with the adder, because that might help with the more powerful creatures that we know we're gonna face. And I have a chance to get items up here too. Um so let's just go that route. Okay, sigil swap time. Um, ooh, I could put the adder on something. That would be interesting. I oh, know this is sacrifice. I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> so ringworm or possibly one of our moose bucks. I think the ringworm makes the most sense because it's one blood and we don't want to draw it first off. So. We'll do that. Okay, I think it's a totem fight. Actually, all of them are totem fights, just the boss fights aren't. And I've got two bones, so that means we can get our um, mill worm thing down. Fortunately, neither of these are good in this situation. Hmm, I can protect a flying ant. Um, they don't have Mighty Leap either, so that's good. At least we got that going. Um, so next turn, I'll have enough power on the board to uh, hopefully get past these guys. But it's going to be chancy because this Raven. Okay. Because we'll kill the Raven, but yep, here comes some other bad guys. We've only got a single candle too. So... Okay, um, yeah, not ideal. Let me see. Um, they're about to do four, six, let's see, hold on, four, five, six damage, and I only have, let's see, actually, the worker ant will take out both of those, so that it would be four, five damage, and I could get another flying ant down. Um, and have it occupy this lane, let the coyote strike it, um, and hopefully draw a mantis god next time. That would be better than letting it, um, sink a hit, so let me think. Fortunately, there's no good way about this, um, because they're going to do four. And I'm going to do two. Let's see. I'll do two. And they're going to do five. And that's not enough for me to turn it around. Hmm. Um. Woof. Now, let's see. I could take out this flying ant. And then they would do two three and I think I would survive with that could be making a mistake here but I also have to tell so it would hit that maybe this will work out let's just wait and see how this goes oh there's our broken egg and the cuckoo is gonna I think finish this off yep wow well single candle took us down um wow what a bummer. I really had a great setup going there, so that was unfortunate. 
Let's uh let's try again though. Single candle. So tough. Okay. Hmm. Well, not a huge fan of any of these situations going here. Um,. Hmm. I guess I'll start off with Dire Wolf with insects in mind. And we'll get an adder or two. Why not? Hopefully, this will uh, take them out right away. Don't want to buff Ringworm that I carry around forever. Yes, good. It's almost just worth restarting the game if you don't get this right the first time. It stinks so much. Okay, let's head up this way so we can maybe buff our power on our Mantis God. If we get that early on, we're sitting pretty. Okay, there we go. If I can get it even up to just four damage, that's uh, pretty spectacular. Oh, there's our nasty Raven. These things are so mean. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to uh, deploy the dire wolf, but it'll be pretty close. I'm trying to save my squirrel so that I can get, um, yeah, there we go. Get a uh, pack rat. Okay, well, we got a modest amount of um, excess damage here. I'll take it. Ooh, Wolverine. Sounds good to me. Alright, time to boost some health. Good. Now it can withstand a uh, single Great Light attack. Alright, Wild Bull and a Rabbit. Okay. Well, we can put it right in front of the wild bull and uh, take it out. So let's uh, go for it, I suppose. Okay. Now we'll put our adder down and seek revenge on the wild bull that dared harass our. Uh, Mantis God. Get him, Snakey. Hey, no time for our Wolverine yet. I can get some bone tokens. It'd be nice to be able to play it fast. If I had two of them to start, that would be within, I guess, three turns or so. All right, we could do a sigil swap. Maybe put our Dire Wolf on our um, Mantis God. We'll have a chance to get Pack Rat later on. Oh, a golden pelt. Okay. Well, that was good. There we go. I was kind of hoping to duplicate it before um, getting sigils, but it was too tempting, and I don't want to accidentally draw a dire wolf when I could have been getting something else. Oh, no, this isn't good. Um, raven egg and a mole. That's not good. Um, well, we're basically going to have to wait our turn and try to link something that has some power to it. Okay, good. I was really afraid that we're going to get in trouble here, but Mantis God should eliminate the raven egg. Yep. Good. Okay. Put down our adder just for fun. Actually, no, we can't. We don't have enough to sacrifice yet. <laughs> okay. That was looking like it was going to 
turn sour, but it didn't. We have two fire events back to back. Mm, another adder. Turkey vulture sounds tempting though. Let's do it. All right. All right, man. Just one more stop. If we can get another power boost, we're gonna be really, yeah. Now we're good. So if the game cheats me again, we'll know that it's uh, playing unfair because I had two games in a row now where I got a 5-5 Mantis God situation. <laughs> um, that's pretty rare in my experience, so. I'm just going to try to play it carefully and we'll see how this turns out. And this might be hard because, you know, I don't have, um, well, they're putting down Bullfrog, so I can handle that actually. And our Golden Pelt can be put somewhere just to take a hit or two. Um, and we'll just wait, um, we'll let them get that first attack in. And it should draw the Mantis God pretty fast. Um, well, that's still not good. Hate to do a teeth pull though. Let's just go with this. All right, there's our mantis god. Okay, good. And let's see. It might be worth putting down our ringworm just to get the leaping trap um, to hit something. There we go. I think I can quite literally just draw the card that is like maybe to the left of the Mantis God and win it. So it is still good to get our pelts out of this before we move on to the next part. Okay. And we're gonna get three cards so I can actually clear out that whole area in front of the Mantis God. Okay. Let's go with that and we're good. So that should be game over for them. Um, and could put our Wolverine down. No, apparently not. Um, we're only one token away. Is there something we can sacrifice? No, looks like not. And I don't want to use up the squirrel because I'd like to get the uh, um, words, words, words. I'd like to get the pack rat. That's what I'm looking for. Getting excited again because we just made mince meat of that boss. Okay. Wild bull, moose buck, or a bat. Hmm. It would be good to have a three blood. We'll take it just in case. Having that kind of power can be really nice. All right, well, I feel like stopping at power-ups aren't as nice right now, so maybe we'll go, well, I see items up there. Let's double check. Lamergar, nice. Um, there is a duplicate event and putting our Mantis God on that is probably the best idea of anything. And I've only got the one golden pelt to trade in, that's okay. Now I could go over here and get rid of the ringworm and that would give me the highest chance of getting a mantis god right off the bat. Could get a pack rat. This is hard. Um, I'm gonna go this way and I think I have a chance at getting something else but having this ringworm sacrifice so that our wolverine has a quicker chance to get on the board I think that could pay off pretty well so. We'll just keep rolling with it. Oh no, stinky. That's never a good card to have. All right, Mantis God is a go. Jeez, all that excess damage. It's nuts. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and head up this way. Ooh, Yuri Yuli, nice. And a pack rat and a douse. Um, 
Man, having the Dasa's ability on, say, the Mantis God would have been nice, but, hmm. Well, let's see. I could save it and maybe combine it with the Adder or something, and that could kill th three things. I think I'll do that. That could be fantastic, actually. Um, let's go up here. Oh, I just saw there's going to be a fungus event. I uh, hope this will play out well. Um, don't really have to have two of those, per se. Let's see. Hmm. Just wondering if I could combine, the, make two douses maybe, and then combine like the Wolverine's abilities or something. Um, but let's just do the Mantis God so that we're basically 100% assured to uh, draw it. Okay, and it got bees within. That's fine. That's actually excellent. We still have 15 attack, so no problem. And if we combine them up here in a minute, we'll have bees within and uh, that other thing, so it'd be fantastic. Okay. Let's do our Mantis God and just go ahead and win the round. We don't want to mess around with our single candle situation here. They're definitely amping up the difficulty. Let's do a two blood. Afraid to get another three blood at this point. I wish that you had the option to uh, just run away. Kind of stinks that this isn't my favorite thing to do, but I guess I gotta do it, right? Oh, uh, hey, Wizard Max, no problem. I've uh, been playing about 35 minutes or so, just having a good time here. I, I've i had some pretty incredible runs with Mantis Gods, and now I have a 10-10 one for the first time ever. <laughs> and it's got bifurcated strike, or trifurcated and double strike. So I'm about to get the most teeth I've ever had on a single turn ever. Um, so this will be pretty hilarious. <laughs> so it's getting uh, 40 excess, or I guess 45 excess teeth here. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully I'll get to trade them in. Oh, a mealworm. Cool. Alright, finally at the woodcarver. Um... I can't use um, any of this really. Don't like the airborne per se. Hmm. I do have the moose buck and the Dallas is considered that, so maybe let's go with this. That could that could work out, I guess. Okay. Hmm. What can we give? that ability to the Wolverine might be a good idea it does have more health the adder sounds fun too though hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any other interesting ways to spin this um, Actually, doing it the other way around, giving the adder's ability to the douse, I think it makes the most sense. So, or even the wolverine. I like that a lot. Hmm. Let's go with the wolverine. It's having it do a one hit kill, um, gaining that power. Would just be awesome. Okay, second boss for this run. I think it has a chance to be a difficult one, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't think they can stop me with my Mantis God, but just, I always hate to underestimate things.
Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, there we go. Another millworm. Hmm. A rattler and a beehive. The beehive ability on, say, the moosebuck or something could be interesting. Or actually, the douse. That would be great because that would make the dams generate bees if they're hit. I think we'll try that out. All right. I really need to trade in some stuff, and I'd like to get a pack rat. Um, now I could duplicate my mantis god. That would be pretty hilarious. Um, however, getting a sigil completed or a totem completed is probably my best move. As tempting as it is to duplicate that insane mantis god, I think it will be better off doing this route. Okay, good. Pass the flying colors. Okay, Lammergeier that has Morsel and is stinky. A cockroach with Sprinter and Bone Digger. And a corpse eating raven that has Brood Parasite. Um, so that would be kind of like a cuckoo, I guess. Well, I like it. Um, but being airborne, though, that might be a liability. But it would block damage. Lammergeier. Hmm, I don't know. Cockroach. Yeah, let's go with the Raven. I think that, that feels best. I just have a, a good feeling about it. Alright. Ah, oh, bifurcated strike. Excellent. There we go. That'll help me out quite immensely. Okay, Bloodlust. And we do have our Beehive, so Pronghorn... We would make it more powerful, unfortunately. Um, well, we'll go ahead and do this so that we get a bee generated. And it won't kill it either, so that's okay. And I think our next hand, hopefully, will draw our Mantis God and be able to call it a day. Or at least something has some power. Okay, good. Um, here we go. Too good. Alright, time to trade these in. Let's see how many we have. Oh, okay. Let's see. 20 on the pelts. Wow, look at all these. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Alright. Should I make a sacrifice? Um, uh, but having all those pelts in my hand, that could be dangerous to you. I just realize that. Um, sigil swap of the beehive. I think I had an idea earlier of putting it on the douse. That would be exquisite. Um, so let's do that route. Or, let's see. I don't care a ton about the attack power would be high. Just having the chimes would be nice. It would be one blood, so if I could buff it, maybe that would be the smarter thing to do. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll do it the opposite way. And hopefully I'll get a fire event and get to buff up the attack power. All right, Mantis God. I hope I draw you, bud. Okay. Well, we got our beehive. Um, so that's cool. And what can I do with that, though? I guess I could play it over here. And we will have some generation of bees starting. Okay. And we'll be able to play our millworm against this dire wolf. Wow, it looks angry. I wonder if this is an imposter. That would suck. Oh, a golden pelt. Okay. 
Um, Flamergar takes three blood to play. And we don't have that yet. Um, well, actually, we could if we put down everything we've got. But it wouldn't have any attack power. But it is airborne. And I could use something up. So let's do this. And we'll uh, take them like that. And we'll go... Hmm... It'll do four damage, I guess, over here to start. And we'll block for over here. And keep going. Okay. Turkey Vulture. That's not going to be good. Um, they're going to get two damage on me. And thinking I need to pull a tooth. But let's just uh, keep going for a moment here. And it, that bloodlust is going to be a problem. So, we've got to find that other card. Um, or else we're going to be in big trouble soon. Alright, not good. Let's see. Alright, Mantis God to the rescue. Thank goodness. Um, we're going to have to play it this way I think and let's see if we put it here yeah we would take out everything and I think we would win so let's go with it okay <laughs> and we're getting bees too that's funny okay wow that was intense I was getting worried there um I kind of needed I wish I could duplicate that Mantis God so that I'd have two on my hand pretty badly now. Uh, fungus events. Um, I don't think we have anything to do. So, let's see. What sigil do I have? Oh, yeah. Bifurcated Strike. Um, let's go to the left, I guess. I think I can probably pass the cave event, but I have so many pelts that might drown me. Let's do two of a kind. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Oh, no. That's a fail. Oh, nothing good here either. Let's stick with bifurcated strike on our um, pronghorns. Alright, stinky. And we got beehive. Um, so, yeah, we can put down this and that'll protect us for a little while um, and generate bees. Should get two bees off this with the pronghorn. Bees. Now, I should be able to draw something here. Good. A wolverine, but I'm going to be short, unfortunately. Um, let's see, I could put down bees just to attack and get some points off the board. Um, if I did one mole over here, it would block the elk fawn from coming down and the pronghorn to do to attack. And, um, I'm only one away from being able to afford the, um, Wolverine. I wish I had something to sacrifice here, but I don't. Um, so let me put this over here, and I could put this other bee down, and then I'll be able to afford, afford the Wolverine. I can take out the pronghorn, which is kind of our biggest threat right now. Well, actually, I won't be able to because it is stinky, so I'll have to take out, I guess, the mole um, first. Okay. And a moose buck. Okay, let's see. Oh, I should have used up my jar earlier too. That's another mistake I made. Um, we can kill the mole. 
and use the uh, rabbit pelt, I suppose. There we go. I think I'm having a little bit of a poor strategy now, but our Wolverine getting stronger. It's going to be able to take out a little bit more here. Um, yeah, let's get a squirrel and we'll block the elk, perhaps? No, actually, I could get the moose buck on a rampage, but it's going to be minus one. And we want the wolverine to take this guy out. The pronghorn is going to kill him too, though. That's the main problem. Um, the moose buck does have the bifurcated strike, though. So it would do two damage, but then our two damage. I think we're still going to have problems. We really need our Mantis God card. Um, we can afford to lose. Let's see. We lose um, two here. And then I guess a third and fourth. Um, we basically would have to get the Mantis God in the next hand, I think. If I don't do anything right now. Um, yeah. I could block that elk attack and that might give me another turn. I think that I'll just try this and see what happens. Okay. All right. I really need that mantis god. Ah, got that raven. Um, and it auto deploys on death. So can I exploit that somehow? Also has a breed parasite. Um, I'm thinking I may have lost, I'm trying to see what we've got here. Um, yeah, this is feeling like a loss. Um, hmm. Raven does do airborne damage though. So if I put it here, we would get one overall. Hmm. We do have bees within, but sacrificing it won't give us any bees, unfortunately. It's starting to look like I'm a victim of my own success, and I'm not going to get the mantis in time. So, turkey vulture, we definitely don't have enough to go with. And raven... What could I do here? I could play a squirrel here in front of the elk and it would kill it and then the raven would auto deploy but then they're going to do three damage so that's not good um, I can't like I'm just looking I don't think I can overcome the amount of damage they're going to do to me let's see Wow, so tough. So two, and if the raven's there, that'll block, and then three. And me going plus two, I would still lose. I feel like there's gotta be some way out of this. Um, I might be just being delusional here. <laughs> um, let's see. Man, if only I could have got down the moose buck or something. Even if I take bones. Well, actually, I can take bones. Yeah. And now I have seven. And now I could get the raven down and the turkey vulture. Okay. Good. Um, and that should be enough to make the difference. So we'll place our... Raven here and our turkey vulture over here, and that should absorb enough damage that we'll have, I think, exactly one. I hope I didn't misplay that. It's feeling like I may have, but if one of these survives, then I should be able to get 
Oh no, the elk god. Or the elk. That that messed me up. Okay. I should have moved it over. That was so close. Man, one silly mistake. I had a lifeline there too, but um, I guess it was going to happen either way because the other elk still would have been there. Um, well, maybe I would have survived. Let's do one more run. <laughs> I can't leave it after having two runs with Mantis Gods that were so powerful. Like, I've got to be close to having a win here. Single candle is so hard, but I'm getting further each time, it feels like. Okay, Cockroach and... Let's do Wolverine. All right. Um, let's see. Tempted to go to Sigil so that we could do that first. But an Undying Mantis God might be a better route. Kind of going back and forth on that, but... Um, hmm. I think I'll do it. The double strike is pretty nice, but having it be recallable if I never get to duplicate it, that works out nicely too. Having that from the very start could be very powerful. Okay, um, nothing I can really do here, so... I guess we'll just let the wild bull come on down. And we should have our mantis god. Yep. Okay. And it is perpetual, so that'll be fine. Alright. And we'll just draw it again. Good. Oops. I'm going to try to, uh, oh yeah, sure you surrender. Um, I wanted to get my uh, Wolverine on the board and see if killing a rock counts as a, um, counts as like a win here. It'd be really cool if it does. Um, looks like it won't let me though. I just have too much power going, I guess. Um, like I said before, I wish you could sacrifice cards to get them off the board, but you can't. You gotta replace them with something. Okay. Oh, a beaver. Excellent. Now that would be funny, because if I could get... Um, the beaver with Mighty Leap so that its dams are strong. Oh no, our four ringworm. Okay, um, that would be really cool. Thinking I'll probably be going the route with that fire. I'd love to get uh, fire taken care of. Okay, I think I'll win on the next turn. There we go. All right, don't have many teeth and I think I would rather head up this way and get our, one of our ringworms burnt. So we'll do that. Or not. We're gonna have an ultimate ringworm here. It's gonna have possibly two and six for its health and uh, offense. All right, elk fawns. Um, well, we'll just put down our mantis god. Call it a day. You know the drill. With it being unkillable, I'm a lot less worried about it surviving hand to hand, so it's nice. Put down our beaver just for fun. I always like to 
give uh, cards a chance to participate in the glory. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Let's do Black Goat. That way we can afford to get just about anything on the board. All right, might boost. Um, well, I guess I might as well use it on the Mantis God because I'm gonna combine these Ringworms. Um, and if I get a chance to run into another power up, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Sigil swap time. Let's see. How about putting our... Attempted to do our Ant Queen on the Beaver. Um, if we did Black Goat, we would have two worthy sacrifices. So that would be really cool. Uh, let's see. Wolverine Sigil. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't an ideal situation. I think I'll do this so that I can get multiple ants in one go. Now I wonder if I did do something else. Let's see, could I do something smarter than that though? So with the two ringworms, I have a chance here to make an interesting combo. Um, Perhaps it gets stronger and something else. Let's see. We could take that and we could put it on this ringworm. It has attack power already. Maybe I could put ant spawning on the other one and uh, the ants would have the bloodlust as well. Um, it's really kind of out there as far as a strategy, but I think we have enough time to. Uh, Make it to that. Make it work. Okay. Um, so there's our ringworm with bloodlust, so we'll put it right here. And um, next run, we'll get out our. Um, oh, no, oh, that was silly. I uh, totally wasn't looking at its HP there. <laughs> when we get it comboed up, we'll be good. Um, so. Oh, they may do just enough damage to me here to get me in trouble, though. Kind of need my ant god already. See, they're going to do two more. I can survive that, though. We're okay. Okay. Um, let's see. So, we can do this, and then... Could get down to worker ant and that would be enough power to take one of these guys out. Okay. All right, good. We're gonna break even on this one, which is totally cool. And we can put down our beaver and Let's see. There we go. I guess I could have done that the other way, but we would have lost the beaver right away instead of getting to hold on to it a little bit longer. And a ringworm. Um, let's see. Ant should break even. Ant queen, so we're good there. Okay, just keep working through our list. We're at a good static position now. Um, and we can put down our Mantis God to spring the trap and the dam I think will produce a belt for us. Good, so we're gonna have four to trade in. And I think I have enough damage now that I shouldn't have any problem doing so. All right, excellent. Just gotta watch out for Lammergeier because that got me that one time and I'll never forget it. Okay, 
looks like we don't have any back there, so we're just gonna take off these. And, uh, yeah. There we go. And we can put down... I guess we'll put down our mantis. There we go. Oh, sparrow. Clicked the wrong one. It's okay. I've got a little wiggle room for mistakes here today. Hey, there's our lemur guy. Um, hmm. I guess we'll go with it. It's a hard one to pick, but we'll do it. All right, uh, flying it to this. Insect, yes. Hopefully we'll get a good sigil to complete our totem here in a minute. Okay, let's see. Well, Mantis God can come right on out. We'll win the game. Alright, so should we sacrifice something? Um, or combine up our ringworms? It would be 2 and 6 and have bloodlust. So that's not bad. I think I'll do that. That'll make a pretty viable situation overall. Plus, with only costing one blood, I mean, that's awesome. The idea of a ringworm with bloodlust just really cracks me up. <laughs> Alright, Kingfisher, Kingfisher, and Wolverine. Dams aren't going to be a help here. Um, so I'm tempted to say let's go after the kingfishers with our worker ants to start. Okay, I think that this is an okay start. And of course we can't get rid of it because um, they're waterborne, so that's the only part that stinks. Um, we could park something else in front of it, um, perhaps. Let's do, let's get a flying ant over here, and that will be four damage, and I think that they won't be able to catch up unless they play something kind of wild on us. That's just an endurance uh, situation now. And we have our mantis god. And they're doing an uncool thing by continuing to uh, pile on the hits, but I think that with our Mantis God we can turn this into a win. Plus it's undying, so no need to worry about if we lost it anyways. Okay, cool. Another black goat. Let's get Mud Turtle. We'll use its uh, protection on somebody, maybe. Alright, let's see. Well, I really don't like airborne. That sounds risky. Moving around seems similarly risky, too. So, I don't have... I do have a Lamergeier, so maybe we'll take just the bird head for now, and I have another totem event coming up in a moment, or woodcarver event, so... Maybe it'll work out. Hey, here's our ringworm with bloodlust. I can take out a sparrow in one hit. Um, so let's do that. It'll get stronger. 
I can't remember if it's permanent or not too, so that's the thing I'm wanting to pay extra attention to. Okay. Um, let's see. They're going to do, I think, three more damage to me. And two, three. I think I can take that. All right. Hopefully I'm not miscalculating here. I think I'm good. Yeah, three damage. Good. Okay. And we can play our Mud Turtle now. And it can take out the Sparrow in one hit. However, we need to get some damage going, so I think I'll put it in the Kingfisher's lane. We can also play Ant Queen, um, but I think I want to play the Mud Turtle first. That's two damage. Look at our ringworm. Five uh, damage. About to lay it out right here. Um, it's going to be great. Big turnaround. Seven points. It's going to eviscerate this coyote as well. <laughs> so funny. Seven and four ringworm. It's hilarious. All right, just because we're angry, we want to send our worker ant after this stomp. <laughs> silly, silly. All right, cave event. Oh, let's do two of a kind. I think we vaguely have a chance. Okay, we passed. Huh. Quartz maggots that generates bones and is airborne. Rabbit warren that it has mighty leap and generates ants. That sounds like a no-brainer because we get two cards out of one and it can block airborne. Um, however, sharp quills along with that and reflecting their attack power. Ooh. That sounds pretty cool. I think I'll go with the Warren though. So that's a lot of um, generation blocking for just uh, one card. Okay. Now, Sigil Swap. Who are our candidates here? Um, I could take the Mud Turtles and put it on the Beaver, and everything would be able to take one hit solid. Now, that would be pretty cool. Um, but I did talk about having the Ant Queen be on maybe the beaver so that the dams would generate ants for me and that would get me more ants and they would be cheaper than the ant queen too all right i guess ultimately i would get one extra ant out of the deal um because it's the same blood co cost but the beaver would be stronger um so let's see maybe doing the mud turtle on the beaver dam so they could take extra hits so it would be cool um all these are hard i wonder if you can put where they sacrifice on the dams that would be cool if you can but i'm guessing you can't since they don't have blood um let's see there's no reason to sacrifice the flying ant or the lammergeier um so, one thing that stinks about the Ant Queen, too, is it's kind of almost a net neutral getting an extra ant because I'm losing an Ant Queen, so it's two ants at the end of the day. Um, but I get a third ant with a beaver, so actually I think I do get one ant more. Um... Yeah, let's do it. It's a little bit wacky, but I think it'll be fun. Okay. Bone generating. We'll do it. Why not? Gives my, uh... They're not bone generating. I guess that's, um... If it's sacrifice, it generates bone, or if it perishes. I forget what that one does in particular, so we'll have to check it. Alright, Kingfisher. 
The Mantis God isn't super useful on this one. Because um, if it dies, we're just out. Um, so I may need to actually save up. We can put down our beaver right away. So let's do that, and we'll get us a uh, army of ants saved up for. There we go. Ant army go. Um, let's just go ahead and draw. We'll send this guy over. Okay, and we need to, maybe we could play the Mantis God here now for the dams that would awaken sharks. That's not good. Kind of need the dams to get destroyed. I may have played myself into a weird corner here. Um, let's see, could start building up a ant workforce, I suppose. Um, let's start with that, and maybe we can put down the Mantis God here soon. Bullfrog will take that out, and we can let him have the dam. That would actually be, um, a good situation, I think. And the Lamer Geyer could go down in a lane that we have nothing else in to that's another way that we could play this out um so we'll keep this lane open we'll draw here good and that ringworm would be able to stand and attack um from a shark so let's do this and i need to do something else here. I don't want to have it dragged over, so we'll do that and just lose one of our ants instead. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, let me think. Lamergeier can go down and it would do like four damage or so. Um, I don't think I would have to worry about anything else. We don't want to wake up all of these guys. Um, that's our biggest problem here. Mantis God would be able to hit Overwhelm, so for one turn they could hit and be fine. The Ringworm would actually carry on, though. So, let's just use Lamer Geyer and be absolutely safe with it. Here we go. Okay. Now I get to have my re revenge with the Lamergeier situation. <laughs> so many bones. All right, cockroach. What could we put it on? Um. Nothing in particular. Maybe the Warren. That would help us generate stuff. Well, we can't. It already has sigils applied to it. Um, we could put it on the Black Goat and be able to get powerful cards out more frequently. Um, ramping things up that way. I guess I'll go that route. I think we have one more boss left before the final boss. All right, having items would be nice to have. And getting the sigil off the cockroach and onto the black goat would also be nice. Um, I think I would rather head up to the cave event and items, though. I feel pretty vulnerable without items at this point in the game. Let's do two of a kind. Looks like I fell. I think I may have failed across the board on that one, like no chance whatsoever. 
Alright. Well, this feels good. Be able to ramp up to something powerful, even though I don't really have anything in my hand yet. And I will be going to the um, trader here in a minute, getting some pelts. So, may apply soon. Alright. Um, let's take out the coyote. Why not? Actually, we could put down the warren and block the river otter for a moment. And then we can. Oh, we got another spawn that's going to happen here. Um, we'll do that and we'll put down our ringworm. Okay, good. All right, time we start putting out ants, I suppose. All right, more ants, more ants. <laughs> cool. All right, time to trade in our teeth. Got to get something cool. All right, nice. Oh, I think I see a duplicate event. Oh, yes. Excellent. This is what I've been waiting for. Touch of death on our insects. That can make our ants so much mightier. Okay. Um, duplicates. Duplicates. I have no duplicates currently. Um, could trade in stuff. I could get a duplicate of my mantis god made. Huh. Not a good situation. Um, I feel like trading in the pelts, but I've only got... Actually, I have two golden pelts, it looks like. So I could get three cards and a pack rat. I wonder if that's worth that to skip a cave event and duplicating our mantis god. Um, hmm. I could trade in my cards at the very end, though. I think I'll go with that. We'll try to retain our um, items and we'll trade in cards at the end. It's getting another mantis god. It's kind of my priority right now. Stinky pronghorn. That's not good for me. Um, we can put down a boulder to help us out. So let's start with this and could put down a black goat as well, but it's only going to be one damage. So let's just start with the golden pelt. An elk fawn. That's definitely amping up the suspense there. Um, Lammergeier wouldn't have much to stand on. However, it will have a few bones, so maybe it could be worth it. Um, cockroach with touch of death, though. Be baller. Um, let's go with this and continue on. Okay, I think we have a chance here to get them kind of stuck. We just need to seek out. Hey, a ringworm can do pretty well too. Um, so we'll just hold off for now before we do anything. Okay. Now our ringworm will get bloodlust and I think that will help us out. And we can have our cockroach with touch of death come into play too. Okay, and let's see, let's draw from here. All right, flying ant with touch of death, that won't do anything. Lamergar won't be able to do anything. The elk fawn column will be taken out by our dude over there. Pronghorn is gonna do one, elk fawn is gonna do one. So we're gonna be close. I could put a boulder down though, and block some of that heat. I think I'll do that. Okay, and that was a good move because the elk would have killed us, I think. Glad I caught that. Almost missed it. 
Um, Ringworm is going to finally take out the Pronghorn, thank goodness. Um, and I think we're going to lose our Lammergeier. No, we won't lose it yet. It's going to be close, though. All right. Um, we'll just keep rolling with it for a moment. Okay. Surely we'll get us a Mantis God now. Good. Um, would it be worth putting it down now? I think so. Lammergeier is just not really going to help us, and plus this is regenerable. The ringworm's getting vicious, man. Look at it. It's already at seven. Um, let's see. Let's do our work rant over here just for giggles. Show that boulder who's boss. Okay, that was an intense fight. I kind of got my heart rate up going a little bit there. All right, six health, two of a kind, and four power. Let's do four power. Shake it up a little bit. No, oh, that's not looking good. <laughs> wow. Total failure. I, I don't think I would have won on any of those. That's such a shame. All right. Um, Mantis God duplicate time. It's not looking pretty, but hopefully we'll get a, at least a two and one here. Three and one. Okay. They give me a little bit of pity, so I could have five and two if we get to go to fungus, but I don't see a fungus coming up. All right. Give me a Mantis God. I want to win. Nope. Um, could play beaver though. And have ants ready to go. Um, it's feeling like a good idea. I'd have enough to get cockroach down pretty quickly with that. Those dams are going to throw me off. Um, they're going to do three damage though. Let's see. That's not a happy situation. Um, and Beaver's only going to do the one. That's the main problem. Each time it hits the Raven, too, it's uh, going to take damage if I were to put it down. So I could take out the Sparrow instead. Um, but the Ravens are a bigger risk, so let me um, kick this off, I guess, with the Goat. And um, not the best situation, but... We're kind of doing what we can, what we got. Um, we'll do this, and the worker ant will take out the sparrow on its first hit. And I think it will be in a safe situation here. Um, let's say just put down a lot of stuff at once here. Okay. And they did put down a lot at once, but I think we we're going to be able to handle it. Yep, now we've got a ringworm. Um, so... Ringworm could take out the Raven immediately. They're coming down here with five damage potential. Um, and that Raven is going to be one to connect. If we're not careful. Um, cockroach could almost go. Actually, we could put the Ringworm down here and then get the Cockroach over in this lane. I think we'll be fine with that. Yep, we're good now. At least I think so. Cockroach should take out the Raven and be waiting on the Cody. Okay, one second. Okay, let's do... Let's see, Ringworm will get three damage. Cockroach will take out that and that will be three. So that's going to be roughly equal. Let's see if we can draw a something okay golden pelt um that'll block some damage so i'm gonna go on mute i need to take a phone call so i will be playing but muted be right back
Okie dokie, I am back from the phone call. So, looks like we're about to pull off a win here. Um, wanted to see if there's anything else I could grab. I guess I could put the black goat down, Mr. Fonzies. Um, so, we could do this, and then the black goat that's also unkillable, and we could pull a tooth for fun, although I don't think it does anything. Uh, I mean, it does do that a little bit. Um, oh, when I have cards that are cuttable, that's another message that I haven't seen, I haven't attempted that on the moon. So let's go ahead and um, let it play out. Boom. There we go. Wow. First time beating the 80 point challenge after so, so many tries. <laughs> um, that's excellent. That felt great. Um, I'm just happy that I didn't get in a bad situation like sometimes happens on the final boss. So four bosses defeated, 142 cards drawn, 11 scale damage in one turn, 49 scrolls armed, 59 sacrifices made, and eight misplays. Entry number eight. I barely leave the apartment save for the odd dinner out with mom. Last night was an exception. I went to Comics Land to play a Secrets of Legendaria draft. Is it weird that I brought the disc with me? I felt uncomfortable being apart from it. I ended up ripping a foil sweaty dragon, but lost the first match to this weird dude who wanted to record it for his YouTube channel. Like he actually brought a camcorder on a shaky looking tripod to the shop. How is that allowed? Cards unlocked. Red heart. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of sacrifices made during your turn. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Red Heart will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Huh. Equal to the number of sacrifices made during your turn. Yeah, that sounds like a real waste. I don't see how often you could play that. That's weird. Um, challenge unlocked. Annoying starters. Cards and starting deck have the annoying sigil. Plus 10 challenge points. Okay. Well... After that epic run, uh, trying to beat our 90 uh, or 80 point, let's see, what do we get? A 90 point situation now. So that's going to be a hard one. Um, I'm just taking a quick look to see what that could look points wise. And that's a possibility. I don't have to look and see what annoying does because um, I kind of forget what that does, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and end it now since we're at almost two hours and roll credits with thanks for watching. It's been STR Rink. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Rink. I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.